Well, welcome everyone to Texas' fifth annual conference, Hard Lessons, Valuable Learnings and Heightened Expectations. And I'm your Master of Ceremonies today, Claire Macken, Associate Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Learning and Teaching in the College of Business and Law at RMIT University. And it's my absolute pleasure to be here. On behalf of Texa Chief Commissioner, Professor Peter Coldrake, AO, together with Texa Commissioners, Professor Joan Cooper, Mr. Stephen Samoggi, Ms. Adrian Newenhouse, and Texas CEO, Alistair McLean, thanks for joining us today. Well, it is absolutely clear that Australia's higher education sector is charting a new course, seeking to adapt and rethink higher education in a reshaped world. And we're in the midst of forging an exceptional, vibrant brand for Australian higher education. And to do so, we must draw on the lessons of the past year to find solutions to new and emerging challenges facing students, academics and institutions. And today's conference is really going to consider some of the big questions facing the sector. I actually can't wait, I'm so excited. So how is higher education actually developing leadership capabilities to embrace new opportunities in a world impacted by COVID? How do we protect our students and providers in light of increasingly sophisticated attacks on integrity and data? Are we exploring new ways of engaging with students, academics, and our global higher education community? What is the role of higher education in supporting Australia's economic recovery and emerging innovation agenda? And how does TEXA, as a regulator, continue to provide a solid foundation for our diverse sectors through strong quality assurance. And what have we learned from the past two years? How can we further strengthen our institutions for the future? We have such an amazing lineup of panelists and speakers today. I'm super confident it's going to be an amazing day. And just a few logistical matters. So to access the live stream from anywhere within the virtual platform that you should be on, click that watch live button in the top right corner. You've probably already done that because that's why you're here. Uh, the left-hand side menu has a couple of features to know about. So if you have a look over there, the program tab, that's going to take you to the program schedule for today. You can click on any of the speakers' names to learn more about them. And you can actually favourite your sessions and talks and create a personalised schedule. And you can write notes in that section as well. And the speakers listing on the left-hand side menu as well displays all of our esteemed panellists and keynote speakers. Clicking on their speakers bio page will give you a link to the sessions that they're presenting in. And FAQ, this page has answers to common questions and tips on how to make the most of the conference today. Check those out. And to ask a question, click the blue button in the big blue button, ask a question. We'd encourage you to ask questions today. Choose the session to which your question relates and then type in your question and press submit and they'll come up. And today's event is being recorded. You can enjoy it all over again at the end once the event concludes. Finally, if you can't find an answer to something, just use that contact us tab and help is not far away. So let's get started for our conference today. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome Wurundjeri woman, Mandy Nicholson, traditional custodian of NAM from the Jiri Jiri Dance Group, who will acknowledge country for us. Thank you. Gladun Yan Wangat Naranik Mandy, Wurundjeri Willamik Wurundjeri Balakut, Mundanai Murukalada Pirang, Mundanai Kirpik, Mundanai Lalal Ba Gugung Nugulik, Ba Jaja Wurang Ba Nura Ilamurang. Hi, my name is Mandy Nicholson. I'm a Wurundjeri woman. I also have connections to the Jaja Wurang and Nura Ilamurang people of Victoria. What I said in my language, which is Woi Wurang, is I acknowledge all of my elders and my ancestors, my friends, my Kirip, and the spirit river that flows through the heart of Wurundjeri country, the Yarra or the Birirang, the river of mist. I'm here today to do a acknowledgement of country before your conference because it's a really special culturally appropriate thing to do in terms of educating the wider community about Wurundjeri culture, Wurundjeri spirituality and connection to country. So I believe that there's six layers of country 
there's the below country which is the big ut and that's where we dig into the ground to get ochre to decorate our bodies as you can see on my face and also the roots of the plants go into the the earth and an, an element that is throughout all the different layers of country is water so when water seeps into the ground the plants roots aerate the ground we dig into the ground to get ochre so it's a life-giving layer of country and then we've got the big dewey which is the on country and this is where we physically live but we also live a double life as Wadanjeri people. We live our cultural life and we live our day-to-day -day life where we work and pay bills and things. But in terms of our cultural life, what we do is we dance, we do ceremony, and we incorporate a lot of language into that. So the Big Dewey is the on country. Then you've got Banyabik, which is the water country. So water forms part of our welcome. So usually if you've attended a welcome to country ceremony, there'll be a fire and the leaves of the managum are placed on the embers of that fire to create smoke because eucalyptus leaves, as we all know, has healing properties in it when we've got a cold. So the steam that comes from that fire cleanses people, cleanses visitors when they go through that smoke. So it's more of a cleansing ceremony because when you come from somewhere else, you might have some bad vibes or, or negativity. So it makes it a culturally safe space for everyone when you go through that smoke. So water is part of our welcoming ceremony as well, where we get guests to drink water from country. And it, it lets them know that while they're on our country, while they're visiting, everything that they eat or drink is safe. So the next layer is the Murnmutbik, which is the wind country. So wind country is... As we all know, we can't see the wind, but we can see what it touches and the effects of the wind. So when we've got those smoking ceremonies happening, the smoke absorbs into everything around it, everything, including us. We breathe it in, we breathe it in and put it all over our bodies. We also get the smoke going into the trees. The smoke, when it hits the trees, the trees, uh, it sends the trees a signal that there's smoke, that there's fire. So it tells them to regenerate. So there's all this beautiful connection between nature and, and fire and smoke. So then also when we speak in language, like I said, Woiwurrung is my language, that is blown in the wind and it absorbs into us, it absorbs into everything around us as well, but also goes up to Bundjal, our creator, the wedge tail eagle. But before we get there, there's another layer and that's Wuduwudubik. So Wuduwudubik is sky country and that's where we see Bundjal and Wa, the raven, that's where we see them in their physical form, watching and guiding over us. And then finally, there's star country. So our name for star country is Tarangolk Bik. So Tarang means tree, Golk means stick, and Bik means country. So the cultural knowledge that's found in language is so important because we can say star country, but it doesn't have the same impact as when you say Tarangolk Bik. So literally, there's a forest country up in star country that is reflected down here on earth. So when we take one of those layers out or swap them around, it won't work. They all rely on each other, but they're also reflective of each other. So it's really important to highlight that we have all these different layers of country rather than just a quick speech to say, you're welcome to country. It's all about feeling connected it's all about gaining some knowledge about where you are or where you live. So, you know, you can find out, you can look up where you live and the traditional custodians of that area. So for Nam or Melbourne, it's Wadanjeri people. And the name Nam itself actually represents scrubland. So we have a cultural narrative, a creation narrative of the Birrarang or the River of Mist, the Yarra River. And it tells a story of how the water came down and flooded this vast plain full of Maram, kangaroo and Burumul emu. And it was a vast plain. And what happened is the water eventually came down and flooded that area and it became Port Phillip Bay. So our name Nam means scrubland and our name for Port Phillip Bay is Nam Nam. So when you do dual names like that, it means it's emphasizing something. So all that cultural knowledge embedded in country is something that I really love to share because it's not often easy to find out there. And I just wanted to say, enjoy your conference. Thank you for including this culturally respectful part of your conference and Nungodjan, thank you very much.